is Susan from the Ulis Public Library, and this is Little Shorts. Each week, I'll be posting a video about one of the five early literacy practices, talk, sing, read, write, and play. Each video will include a parent tip about how you can use these practices with your ch child at home in your daily life. It will also include a simple activity or demonstration on how you can easily incorporate the tip into your interactions with your child every day. These are just suggestions to help foster your child's early literacy development and are activities that we normally do in our story ties and free plays here at the library. Please understand while these tips and activities are great, the most important thing that you do for your child is to spend a little time interacting with them each day. So enjoy the video and don't forget to have some fun with your little one. This week's tip is a talk tip. Enhance your child's vocabulary by talking to them about farm animals. Have you ever wondered why farm animals are one of the first things that we learn about when we are kids? There's actually a few logical reasons for that. One, learning the names of farm animals and other related farm words help teach your child how to pronounce other words. Many farm animal words feature consonants pronounced at the front of the mouth, making them more easily detectable to children. They also help your child practice lots of sounds that you see in English. They consist of a wide variety of phonemes, which are the language building blocks that prepare your child to speak, read, and write. Two, it helps them learn how to put a sentence together. By simply putting associated farm words together, like cow and moo, they are starting to string words together and beginning to make sentences. Three, it teaches them categorization skills. By specifically talking about one type of farm animal, describing what they look like, what they eat, what sounds they make, and other things, you're building their vocabulary and expanding their view on what that animal is. For today's activity, we are going to learn the finger play, 10 Little Chicks. There are lots of rhymes and songs that you could use to talk about farm animals. One of the best songs that we all know is Old MacDonald, which is probably one of the most versatile songs that you can sing. But today I wanted to just focus on one animal, the chicken. With this rhyme, you can talk about how chickens lay eggs, how they sit on their eggs to keep them warm, and how baby chickens are called chicks. The added bonus of this rhyme is that you can also practice your counting. I'm going to repeat the rhyme twice. The first time around, I'm going to give you the suggested hand motions, and the second time around, I'm just going to say the words of the rhyme. And the rhyme goes like this. Five eggs and five eggs. Hold up five fingers and then your other five fingers. That makes ten. Sitting on top is the mother hen. Cover one hand with the other. Crack, crack, crack. Clap three times. One, two, three. What do I see? Ten little chicks as cute as can be. And then hold up your ten fingers again. All right, I'm going to repeat it one more time. Five eggs and five eggs, that makes ten. Sitting on top is the mother hen. Crack, crack, crack. What do I see? Ten little chicks as cute as can be. And that is today's tip.